Topic 3.4, dividing where you end up with one digit for the quotient. I'll be honest with you, today's lesson is going to involve a whole lot of estimating and some trial and error. You're looking at using a problem where your dividend and divisor have multiple digits in them. But if you look at this, if you think of this as one block of a number here, and how many times does it go into this, you should be okay. So looking at that, let's just say we're looking at 12. 12, I know 12 times 10 is 120. We're dealing with 115 right here. So how about 9? So I bet you 12 goes into 159 times. The question is, though, where does that go to, uh, if you're going to place that 9? Well, we're not saying 12 goes into 1. We're not saying 12 goes into 11. We're saying 12 goes into 15. So you're going to have to have that 9 go right above the 5. Now we just multiply it out. 9 times the 2, that's going to get me 18. Carry the 1 there. 9 times 1 is 9 plus the 1 gets me 10. So I have 108. So I'm going to have 115 minus 108, and that gets me 7 left over. Nothing left to bring down, and 7 is left than less than 12, so I'm good to go on that. So the answer to this problem is going to be 9 with a remainder of 7. You have one digit right there for the quotient and the remainder. And of course, to check this problem, you would do 9 times the 12 there. This gets you 18, plus that 108. And then you have to add the remainder in there. Gets you 115. That matches that. We are good. Let's do a couple more examples. Say 550 divided by 57. Again, we know that the 57 times 10 is going to get us 570, right? We're dealing with 550. 9 is going to work. So 50 is not going to 5. It's not going to 55. We're talking about 550. So that 9 is going to go right here above that. Let's finish up this process. 9 times the 7 is 63. Carry that 6 right there. 9 times 5, 45, plus the 6, gets me 51. Check my math here. It's going to give me 4 there, 10 there, 7 there, right? 4 minus that is 37. So we're left with a remainder of 37. Let's try another one and see what happens when our estimating is a little off. Let's say 254, we're going to divide that by 29. Okay, so 29, does it go into 2? No. Does it go into 25? No. We have to look and see how many times does 29 go into 254. All right, let's just go and say, well, 10 times would be 290, right? Let's just go ahead and drop it by 1 and say that 29 goes into 254 nine times. When we multiply this out, nine times nine is going to give us 81. Carry the eight there. Nine times two is 18, plus the eight. That gives us 26. So if you notice this, ooh, 261 is more than a 254. So we're actually going to have to drop this down and go with an 8. That's the way that you can kind of check these things with your estimating and trial and error. So let's go to a clean screen and try that again. 254 divided by 29. And we'll say that is 8 times. And let's see what happens here. 8 times 9, 72. Carry that there. 8 times 2 is 16, plus that is 
3. When you subtract those right there, you end up with 22. Uh, that's less than 29, and nothing left to bring down. So you end up with 8 with a remainder of 22. All right, I want to try one more just for funsies here. Let's say 275 divided by 38. All right, looking at this, I see the 38. It's kind of close to 40. And I'm thinking 4 and 28. So I'm looking at a 7 maybe. So I might, I might be cutting it close, but let's give let's go ahead and give 7 a try. I hope this works. So 38 goes in 275. We're going to say 7 times. So let's see what happens with that. 7 times the 8, 56. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus the 5 is woo, 26. We lucked out. Now we're going to subtract that because this is less than that. Uh, so that's going to get us, what, 9? So we subtract that. Because 5 minus 6 can't do that. I'm going to make that a 6. Bring that up there. So yeah, we get a 9 there. So now we have nothing left to bring down. A one digit quotient there. So this should be 7 remainder 9. So it's kind of fun just to see if the one digit you choose for your one digit quotient is correct or not. Uh, it's hit or miss, trial and error, but good luck on the examples that we have over here. And I shall see you in the morning.